Hi everyone and welcome to our live stream as part of your exclusive masterclass which I hope you've signed up for but if you haven't we'll be sharing the links no doubt in the chat. I'm Lorraine, I run Formula Botanica and I'm joined here today by Anna Green who is our education manager and we're going to spend the next 30 to 60 minutes with you to talk about how to get your ingredients for your masterclass. How are you doing today Anna? Yes, I'm great. Thank you, Lorraine. I am so excited to be here again talking about Masterclass Ingredients. <laughs> Me too. We're doing it all again. And this time around, and I don't know if you took part in any of last year's Masterclasses, but we made a face cream last year. This time we're making an eye cream. So get ready to make your own botanical eye cream. It's going to be amazing. I should add, last time we ran a Masterclass like this, 63,000 people took part. It is the formulation event of the year you need to be there you need to have your ticket so tell me in the chat say yes if you have your ticket i want to see lots of yeses and if you haven't i know our team from formula botanica is in there and they are leaving the links everywhere so that you can go and grab your ticket because it's going to be amazing so we start on october 3rd and that's when the first lesson comes out. Oh, I'm seeing lots of yeses come in. That's fantastic. We're going to be teaching a lesson every day and it's gonna be like your own mini Netflix series. So imagine that you learn how to formulate by just watching 10 minutes a day. And then we're gonna drip feed out every single day a new lesson so that you can make your very own botanical eye cream. And then if you want to, formulate your future. And what I mean by that is you can take your formulations and maybe even turn it into a business, which I know many of you watching want to do, and we want to help you get there. So Formula Botanica, we're the online formulation school, organic cosmetic formulation school. We lead the global organic formulation conversation, and we have been teaching for 10 years now, we have over 17,000 students and graduates. I have a counter behind me that has our real time student and graduate number. We have students and graduates in 182 countries. Absolutely amazing. And twice a year, we run a big free masterclass like this. It is completely free. I just want to reiterate that over and over again, because I know some people ask, how much is it? It's free. And we do this because we are on a mission to teach the world to formulate. So we want to get you formulating because we think formulation is a skill that absolutely everyone can learn. And Anna, maybe you want to tell us a little bit about what you do at Formula Botanica so that, that everyone watching can learn a bit about how we educate as well. Yes, thank you, Lorraine. So I am Anna Green. I am the education manager at Formula Botanica. And so I lead our education team. And we, well, we do all sorts at Formula Botanica. We create content, we um, grade people's assignments. So we have, as you said already, 17,000 odd students around the world. So we grade everybody's coursework. We, uh, you will see us on live student support sessions and, you know, supporting students in lots of different ways. So we are, I suppose, involved in lots of different things at Formula Botanica to sort of make sure that everybody is learning how to formulate. And we absolutely love it. I have um, a team of tutors and we have all sorts of other people involved as well. And it is fantastic. It is indeed. We have about 40 of us at Formula Botanica and everyone is invested in our mission of teaching the world to formulate, which is obviously why you're here as well. I can see some people saying, no, I don't have a ticket to your upcoming masterclass, which starts on October 3rd. The team from Formula Botanica is sharing the sign up link in the comments. And I just want to reiterate again, it is completely free. You do not have to pay to take part. We want to get you formulating, which is why we share some of our very best materials twice a year in, as part of our big free masterclasses. So I think let me talk you through a little bit about what to expect and then we can get onto the ingredient side of things, because I know if you want to make this botanical eye cream that we're going to be making in the masterclass, you're going to have questions about the ingredients and we're here today to answer them for you. But first of all, when you sign up for your masterclass, 
make sure you go straight through to the study area that we've set up. This is just for masterclass students. We've made this exclusive study area for you. And in there, you find a whole load of goodies waiting for you already. So first of all, there's a couple of videos to watch, which will explain exactly how the masterclass is going to work. If you need more information, then do go and watch them. Um, secondly, there's an amazing workbook in there, 32 page workbook. I know Anna's got hers too. Um, go and download it and print it out. And in that workbook, you've got exercises, you've got information. It's packed full of lots of great stuff. And I want you to go and print it out so that you can work through the masterclass at the same time in your workbook. And you will find that in your study area. And as soon as you sign up for your ticket, you'll be sent through, this, uh, through to the study area and we'll also send you an email which also has that link in it to the study area. So go and find that email, go and save it, go and save the link because you'll be going back there every single time to watch a new episode. The other thing we've got in your masterclass study area is we have a shopping list. Now, you don't need to print this out, but we've made this really simple for you so that you can go and find out exactly what ingredients you need in order to learn how to make this botanical eye cream. Now, formulation is fun. It's easy. It's empowering. We say it all the time. We also always say everyone should formulate, which is in your workbook. And that's why we've made it as simple as possible by creating this list with seven ingredients that we're going to be using to make your eye cream. And then we've also got, and this is very special, we've got some kit suppliers. So we're working, we've partnered with companies all over the world who are supplying special kits. And Anna, you've been quite involved in this over the last few months. Can you tell everyone watching a little bit about some of the amazing suppliers that we're working with? Yes, yeah, so we have a variety of suppliers involved this time. We're trying to cover as many different areas of the world for you as possible, because obviously we have an international audience and it is very exciting that this time we have uh, eight kit suppliers involved and we have Alexmo in Germany, we have Aromantic in the UK, we have Essential Wholesale in the USA, we have Go Native in New Zealand, we have Maker's Ingredients in the UK, Naturally Balmy in the UK, we have Soap and More in Canada, and Craftivity in Malaysia. So we have quite a few different kits available this time. And these kits are ready with everything that you need ready for your masterclass. So we're making it as easy as possible for you to shop. But there are other places that you can shop as well. And we will talk about that a little bit later on. Yeah, absolutely. Don't feel limited by just following what we've given you. If you live somewhere else in the world, I can already see someone saying, what about South America? There will be suppliers near you as well. We just haven't got everyone to make kits just yet, but we're working on it. And I think we also need to give a special shout out to one supplier who's actually provided your kit for today, Anna, which is Maker's Ingredients. Now, I will say all of the suppliers we work with are fantastic, lovely people. They supply really great quality ingredients. And we've got one example here. Yeah, that Anna's going to show us. Yes. So if you order a kit from Maker's Ingredients, this is how it will come packaged in this lovely box. And you can see as you open it, it gives you some information about the formulation that you will be making, which is very, very exciting. And then you have all of the wonderful ingredients inside. And I'm going to be showing you those one by one a little bit later on. Amazing. Big shout out to Maker's Ingredients. Thank you so much for sending a, us a kit. We loved it. Um, and yes, go and buy your kits because that means you'll be able to formulate along with us. And what we want at the end of the masterclass is that you've absorbed all of the information we've given you. Hopefully that you've had a go at formulating yourself or if you haven't, that you're preparing to because honestly, formulation is so much fun. And I interviewed a graduate earlier today for a video we'll be releasing soon. And she said the same. She said, it just brings me so much joy. And we want that for you too. So without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to take the shopping list and we're going to run through each ingredient one by one so that you know exactly what we're going to be using. We always get a ton of questions about the emulsifier, the preservative, things like that. So we're going to answer as many as we can now to hopefully take away any barriers that you have in order to get the ingredients. So Anna, do you wanna kick us off with the first one? Yes. So the first ingredient that we will be um, including in the formulation is rose water or rose 
hydrosol. And if you look at, if you turn over any bottle, cream, um, you know, cleanser on the market, the first thing you'll probably see is the word aqua, which is water. And most conventional cosmetics are maybe 80% water. And we've decided to use hydrosols and sort of flower waters in the um, the masterclass formulation because it adds an extra botanical sort of element. And we love working with natural ingredients at Formula Botanica. It is our USP, so that's why we've added it. I'm going to smell it. It smells incredible. The first thing you must do when you get your um, rose water, rose hydrosol, is to smell it because it smells like a bouquet of roses um, is in the house. So it's it's absolutely gorgeous. And we're using this as our water phase. And our water-based ingredients will blend with this in the formula. So yeah, yeah that's number one. Because we're going to make an emulsion. An emulsion is a blend of oil and water because, well, in fact, I think you have a demo there, don't you, Anna? Yeah. <laughs> so here's one I prepared earlier. Here's my beaker. And I've had this sat on my desk for about half an hour now. So you can see that the, the phases are very clearly separated. But at the bottom, it's just distilled water. On the top here is oil. And this is grapeseed oil just for demo purposes. But it shows very, very clearly how water and oil do not mix usually unless you're making an emulsion. And this is the magic that we're going to teach you, which is how to yeah. blend oils and water-based ingredients together to create a lotion texture, which is very, very exciting. It is, it is. And that's why for that water component of your cream, we're going to be using rose water or rose hydrosol. And if you've cooked with rose water before, you will be familiar with it. It is a very ubiquitous, easy to find ingredient. You can get it literally everywhere around the world, which is why we chose it. So that's the first one. It's also on your shopping list. Make sure you go and download your shopping list and your workbook in your study area so that you can formulate along with us. What have we got on the list for number two then? So number two, let me just find the right bottle. I've got one here as well. So this is an emollient ingredient, which is an oil. An emollient is softening to the skin. So we will be blending um, our rose water with this. And this is, you can I hope you can see it. It's a beautiful golden color and it is golden jojoba oil. Now it's called an oil, but it's actually a liquid wax, which makes it a little bit special. Um, but it's very, very light on the skin. It's actually really beautiful to work with. Let me see if I can zoom in on you. How do we do this? There we go. So you can see I've put some on my hand and it's almost all disappeared. It's very, very light. It's a really nice, nice texture. So that is the jojoba oil. That is really softening to the skin. So that will really soften the skin around the eyes when you're applying your eye cream. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, and that's why we've included it with this masterclass. But also, again, it's really easy to get a hold of. You can get a hold of jojoba oil pretty much everywhere around the world. It's a fantastic oil for cosmetics. That's why it's so often used. So there you go. You've got rose water, you've got jojoba oil. Most people can get hold of those and you can too. So make sure you go and you know either buy a kit from one of our amazing suppliers. Big shout out to the eight companies who are working with us for this masterclass. They are linked to from your study area, but you can also just shop around and find obviously the ingredients that you need. And I love it. The team has just actually said, who's excited for the masterclass? Drop an emoji to tell us how excited you are in the comments. I want to hear from you too. So what's ingredient number three? So we've already talked about water and we've talked about oil and we have our demo of what would happen if you just tried to blend those two things together without this third ingredient. And what we have next is an emulsifier. And this is the special ingredient that blends the oil and the water together. Hopefully you can see that. It's little white flakes. Sometimes they come in pellets or sort of little, um, you know, round versions, but this one is in flakes. 
And this one is called Olive M 1000. It is also known under the inky name of Satirial, let me just say it properly. <laughs> <laughs> satirial olivate and sorbitan olivate i knew i would get that one wrong um, they're not easy names but that will be in your workbook and your shopping list so you know that you are purchasing the right emulsifier obviously if you're purchasing a kit then it comes with it already but you would know that it, you are purchasing the right emulsifier and that it looks such a simple ingredient but these little white flakes are what will bind everything in your formula together. They really do make the magic happen. Yeah. And Anna said a really important word there. She said the word inky, or it's an abbreviation, I suppose. It's International Nomenclature of Cosmetic Ingredients. And we're going to explain all of this in the masterclass. Don't worry about it yet. It's all going to come back in lesson four for you. But that is basically the cosmetic language that we use to define ingredients, which means that if I turn over the label, in the UK, it's the same as when I turn over the label in Brazil or in Pakistan or wherever it is you are in the world, because we use this inky language. So what we've given you is the inky name for the emulsifier, and that's what you use to search for it with. If you type in Olive M1000, you should be able to find it too, because it is only sold under that name. But just in case, use the inky name. And there are suppliers all over the world, again, who stock this. We've got fantastic kit suppliers who you can go and buy from and there are a few others listed at the bottom of the page who don't have kits but might have that supplier in uh, emulsifier in stock for you as well so just make sure you always look for the inky name and we list it on your shopping list so if you look at the shopping list it, it will say rose hydrosol and then behind it it says inky and it will tell you what the full inky name is but don't worry about what it all means we're going to cover all of that in the masterclass. okay um, Absolutely loving people's emojis, Lorraine. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's really making me smile to see how excited people are. Yeah, yeah, me too. Thank you so much. Keep those emojis coming. Tell us how you feel about the upcoming masterclass, which starts on October 3rd. And if you haven't got your ticket yet, go and get it. The team's been sharing the link in the comments. I'm sure it's with this video as well, either on YouTube or Facebook or in our big Facebook group where we're hosting our masterclass, which has over 75,000 people in it. So um, yeah, make sure you click on that link if you haven't got your ticket yet. Right, let's move on to ingredient number four. So after we've blended our oil and our water, we then start to make it botanical and we add botanical extracts, which is very, very exciting. And I have two here, but I'm going to start with the first extract, which is an oil based extract. And this is rosehip oil. This is cold pressed rosehip. You can see it's a beautiful, deep orangey color. This is cold pressed rosehip. We also talk about the CO2 extract within the masterclass, which is just a slightly different extraction method for the same ingredient. So you can use both interchangeably. It is an absolutely beautiful ingredient, really well known for its properties on the skin. Very, very uh, softening and really, really nice to apply. So it's a beautiful, beautiful ingredient. We've lost your audio, Lorraine. Sorry, I'd muted myself. The problem of the uh, 2020s. Um, I've got rosehip CO2 extract here and it's got the cold pressed oil. So you can see mine slightly darker in color. Um, someone asked in the comments, what can I substitute for rosehip CO2? If you can't get the CO2 extract, get the oil. Um, but try and get hold of the CO2 extract if you can, because it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it'll be slightly deeper and uh, more colorful than the cold press. But there is, you know, with natural ingredients, sometimes there is some uh, variations between ingredient and ingredient. So you know have a go with whatever you whatever you can find don't don't worry too much about which version you get yeah and i'm just going to take a question from someone on youtube who says my supplier said co2 extracts are extremely concentrated must be diluted is that true generally yes i mean they're very potent plant chemicals basically and some of them can um 
some of them do contain the essential oil of the plant as well. So yes, we typically use them in small quantities and that's also what we'll be doing in the eye cream for the formulation that you're going to learn to make in the upcoming masterclass, which I hope you've got your ticket for. So rosehip CO2 is incredible. Um, I love it to bits. Rosehip has always been my favorite oil anyway, so I'm really pleased that it's in our eye cream this time. Right, ingredient number five, what have we got? So our next ingredient is a water-based ingredient and it's quite thick. You can see as I sort of squeeze it out of the dropper, it's quite viscous. It is a cucumber glycerite. And what that means is it's a cu cucumber extract that has been extracted in glycerin. So this is a glycerin based extract. Do you want to hold mm -hmm. it up a little bit? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time. Um, it's, yeah, as I said, it's in glycerin. So it adds a very nice uh, moisturizing property to the eye cream. And you also have the lovely benefits of cucumber. Cucumber's very nice and refreshing around the eyes. So it's nice to have that botanical element to the eye cream. And it yeah. will make the eye cream feel really nice and moisturizing. Yes, that's why we like to use um, glycerites. We'll explain more about the difference between oil soluble and water soluble extracts in your masterclass. I hope you've got your ticket. I hope you're ready for October 3rd. Um, but that's why we use glycerite. So a glycerite is glycerin infused with a plant. Now, if you can't get the cucumber glycerite, just get plain glycerin or see if you can get a different glycerite but it, it's great fun to work with. And a lot of botanical extracts tend to be extracted into glycerin because it's such a good preserving medium. But we'll talk more about a lot of this in your masterclass. So we've done the oil, the hydrosol, the emulsifier, the CO2 extract or oil, the glycerite. glycerite. What's our sixth ingredient? So we've added our botanical ingredients to our emulsion and we should now have a, a, an emulsion in place um, if we've added all of those ingredients. And then we are looking at a really important step within our sort of formulation process and that is to make it safe. So we are using a broad spectrum preservative called Preservative Eco. It's widely available, it's fairly easy to use for beginners, which is why we've chosen it for this emulsion. And it is quite widely available. So this is why we've used it. It's a thin liquid. Oh, let me zoom in on you again. You can see it's very thin compared to how viscous the cucumber glycerite was. And we'll be using a small amount of this to preserve the eye cream. Yes. It's really important that you preserve your formulations when they contain water. And I know there's always a little bit of controversy around preservation, but believe me, you much prefer a preserved cream to one that's rampantly full of microorganisms, <laughs> which no one, literally no one wants to put bacteria and fungus on their face. So that's why we use a preservative. Now the preservative we use is naturally derived. So that means it is obtained from nature. It's got four different chemical compounds in it. Again, we list this on your shopping list. And what you can do again, is you can search by that inky name, that cosmetic language name that we use for our ingredients. So if you are looking for it, it has various trade names. Um, we've listed two of them on your shopping list. One of them is GeoGuard ECT. The other one is Preservative Eco, which is the way that we typically refer to it. However, um, there, there are others out there in the world because sometimes resellers just rename them. So use the inky name to search for it or go and buy a kit from one of our masterclass suppliers. And I saw someone ask earlier to say, um, if I've already got a few of these ingredients, do I need to buy a kit? Well, no, you don't. It, I mean, do buy the kits if you can, but if you want to go and buy the individual ingredients, those suppliers have them for you too. So we've covered the oil, the hydrosol, the emulsifier, the CO2 extract, the glycerite, the preservative. We've got one ingredient left, what yes. is it? So our final ingredient is tocopherol, which is vitamin E, and this is an antioxidant. So it has a different function to our preservative, which is to fend off, you know, the preservative is there to keep mold, bacteria, yeast, and all of those things away. The, 
antioxidant is there to protect the oils in your formula. So botanical oils are amazing ingredients, but they can be prone to being affected by sunlight, by environmental conditions, etc. So as we're using the beautiful jojoba and the rose hip in our formulation, we have added an antioxidant, which is just vitamin E. And again, this is very, very thick. Let me lift it up a bit for you. It's sort of like honey consistency. So it's it's very thick and very viscous, um, very different to the preservative, but it plays an important part in the formula and it helps to protect those oils and to keep that formula working for you. Yeah, it keeps it stable and having antioxidants in your skincare is also a good thing for your skin. So the whole thing together creates seven ingredients to make this super simple, lovely botanical eye cream, which we're going to be teaching you to make in your very own, how would we call it, skincare flicks, botanical flicks that we'll be running from the 3rd of October. And on the 3rd of October, we'll release the first episode. It's not live. It's going to be pre-recorded because people are watching this from literally every time zone around the world, pretty much. And that way you'll be able to log into your study area, which you have access to once you've registered for your ticket. And then you'll be able to find the first video there, the first episode or lesson and get started straight away and follow through every single one of the lessons as they're released day by day. It's gonna be amazing. We're expecting tens of thousands of people to take part along with you. I'm so pleased that you're here, that you're going to be taking part. And uh, if you haven't got your ticket yet, I know the team has shared the link, go and register because let's just run through very quickly again what you're gonna get. Obviously you're gonna get the whole series and there'll be some goodies along the way. You get your shopping list that you can download and everyone always loves this one, sorry you can get your masterclass workbook. So this is a 32 page bonus workbook that you can fill in and it comes with loads of extra information and it allows you to capture all the main learning parts of your masterclass so that you can take it away with you and keep it forever. Because the masterclass, you don't get lifetime access. I'm afraid I always get this question. It will disappear entirely on October 18th. So just over a month from now after we've been teaching for about two weeks. So we want you to dive in and make the most of those materials while you can. Right, shall we answer a couple of questions? Yes. Let me see if I can scroll back because there were a few. I think there was one from someone asking, what about the equipment? I can't find that one at the moment, but someone asked, what about the materials and equipment that I'm going to need? So uh, we're going to be, first of all, I'm going to be live here next week, same time roughly, I think, with uh, someone else in the Formula Botanica team. I think it's Brooke who's on with me. And we're going to be talking about equipment. But I should add that this second episode in your masterclass is all about the equipment you need, because it's really simple, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. We make this as simple as we can for you. So we use minimum equipment, lots of equipment that you will be able to find very simply, um, you know, in kitchen shops, places like that. You might have some of it at home already. We want you to use, you know, what you have. But we do give you a list of equipment and you you have your, your video um, to watch all about equipment and what you are going to need. So it is very, very simple. It's going to be a lot of fun. And let me give you a quick sneak preview because I've got it here. Oh, and dropping everything around me as we speak. We've got our lab in a bag. So next week I'm going to be unboxing some of it. Not all of it because I unboxed the whole thing in, um, in lesson two of your masterclass. So make sure that you tune in for that. But don't worry too much about equipment for now because you've got so much lying around in your own home. I'm sure you'll be surprised at how little equipment you need when you first get started. So another question we've had, Anna, is about suppliers. So obviously we are in every time zone pretty much. We've taught in 182 countries to date. That's our, our, our formal paid courses. We've taught in 182 countries. So I'm sure the masterclass is even bigger. And there are people saying, where can I get ingredients in my country? So what would you advise for those people? Well, first of all, download your shopping list because that tells you everything that you are going to need. And it also has those very important inky names. So if you are searching 
through, you can first of all search through the kit suppliers. If there is nobody in your country that has a kit, then we also have a little bit, um, another sort of list underneath the kit suppliers of extra suppliers around the world that may not have a full kit, but will have some of the ingredients available to you. We have an Amazon storefront as well for the UK and the US as well, where we've listed some of those ingredients. And, you know, just search those inky names in your country. But things like rose water and glycerin, et cetera, are going to be readily available even in supermarkets and things like that. So don't panic about your ingredients. We want you to focus on the fact that we're teaching you the process of emulsification and we're teaching you how to make this lotion. But within the masterclass itself, we also, we also um, share different substitutions that you can make. So yeah, don't worry about exact ingredients. It should be relatively easy to find them. Yes, it should. Now, I'm glad you brought up substitutions, actually, because we hadn't mentioned that yet. And that question will come up. I did see a few people already ask about, can I use this preservative? Can I use that preservative? Yes, in general, yes. If you want to experiment with others, please do. If you can't get a hold of the ingredients, you know, go for it. Um, however, episode eight of your masterclass, I've already got the workbook up. You can see I've already been filling some of it in as we've been going through the masterclass. Um, contains lots of alternatives and you'll watch me literally cover a table with ingredients where I'll go and this and this and this and that should give you lots of different ideas and it lists some other natural preservatives in there that you might want to try it lists some other emulsifiers in there as well so if you cannot get hold of the ingredients don't panic that should not stop you if you can't get hold of any ingredients don't panic either about that that shouldn't stop you because you can still follow along and absorb all of the information that we're going to give you in the masterclass. And then one day, even if that's not immediately, you can make your own eye cream too. Just make sure you follow along. And don't just do that right now. I know that a lot of you have your tickets already, which is great. If you don't have your ticket, click on the link and sign up. You'll get all the goodies with it. Um, but I also want you to sign up for SMS. I want you to sign up for text messages because I don't want you to miss out on this. Like you've, If you are really committed to this, and I know you are because you're here for a reason, you want to learn to formulate, you might have a dream of starting your own skincare business. I want you to make the most of this masterclass. And that means showing up and committing to it and paying attention when we put information out. So sign up for everything we offer. We've got text messages where we'll text you when the next episode is out, when we're going live, when there's anything that you need to take part in in order to study with us in the masterclass. Sign up for Telegram. We've got messages going out from there as well. Super simple. Most people have the Telegram app on their phone. Go sign up for our masterclass channel join the calendar. So we've got a special calendar as well. If you, I live and die by my calendar, basically, otherwise I'd never be anywhere. So it puts all of this, all of the events for the masterclass straight into your calendar, which is awesome because that way you won't miss out. And of course, just immerse yourself in the social media world of Formula Botanica because we, we're going to be sharing all sorts of goodies and videos and photos and all sorts of things to inspire you. So make sure you take part, sign up for everything and stay engaged because you're going to get so much out of it right that was my little speech <laughs> let me just pull up a couple more questions um we've got uh this is interesting we've had a couple of questions about rosehip oil actually so this is from let's talk beauty who's watching us on youtube hi there is rosehip oil the same as rosehip seed oil do you want to take this one anna yes it will be essentially the same ingredient so they will be extracted from the seeds. Um, and as we said before, there's different extraction types. So here I have cold pressed where the seeds are pressed, but also you can have the CO2 extract where you're using uh, that CO2 extraction and it, it gives you a, a sort of more potent extract. But yes, it will be the same ingredient. Um, it will work in the formula in the same way. And I've seen a couple of people ask about um, different types of rosehip oils. Um, now, this is an interesting one. Now, 
the thing about botanicals, here I go on my little soapbox again, is they all vary from place to place. Like if I grow some rose hip, I am growing rose hips in my garden, for instance, and I press them, they may end up being a different color to the ones that you could grow in your garden. They may be a different consistency. They may have slightly different chemical compounds in them. That's the cool thing about plants. They're all pretty different. We may, we've had a really dry season this year that may have affected the compounds in there or the, the potency of them. Um, you may live in a, a very humid or wet country. Again, it would completely differ. So you'll see different types, different colors of rosehip oil, rosehip seed oil. Don't ever worry too much about that. It's all good. As long as you get rosehip oil and you make sure that the inky name, so what I was just talking about, the thing that we have listed on your shopping list is correct, then you are buying the right stuff, basically. Yes. We are trying to work with CO2 extracts in this masterclass. CO2 extracts can also come from rosehip fruit, but yes. don't worry too much about it for now. Just try and get something rosehip that you can add in. I've got another one here. Where can we find the kit? And Shelley then went on to ask anything for Canada. Yes, so we have a kit in Canada with soap and more, and we hopefully our colleagues can uh, share the kit supplier page link for me again, and you can purchase directly from there. So nice and simple for you. It's just a one click through, and you can see the kit supplier in Canada. I've got another one here from Shweta who says, how do I check that the ingredients we bought are fresh and pure and slash original? And that comes back to what I was talking about in terms of the inky listing. So if you look at your shopping list and please do go and download this from your masterclass study area page, um, it lists the cosmetic name for every single ingredient. If your supplier is providing that to you, then you know that you've got the correct ingredient. So that that, first of all, is a big tick in the box. And then the other thing that your supplier will do is they'll give you a, um, a date within which to use it. So make sure you check those dates and you check that name and that should be fine. But go and buy from our kit suppliers because they're amazing and they have fantastic little kits put together. Many of them will ship worldwide. So if you're watching this from a country where there isn't a kit supplier, and I have no doubt there'll be plenty of people in countries where there aren't kit suppliers, go and have a look at the shipping policies because quite a few of them will ship worldwide to you. And you've got time to get it because we don't start until October 3rd. So you've got some time. That's why we start doing this now. That's why we're already getting people to sign up because we want you to formulate along if you can. Um, yeah. So go and check out this kit supplies. And again, big shout out to Maker's Ingredients who provided the kit for this live stream. Just have another look at the lovely box. <laughs> yes. So Maker's Ingredients is one of the kit suppliers who we're working with. They're in the UK. They have a lovely kit put together. And that's what you will receive when you buy your ingredients in one go. And that's why we've been working with kit suppliers for the last year or so. And believe me, it's a lot of work to get this put together because we want to make it as easy as possible for you to buy your own masterclass kits. Right. OK, I think we've ordered. Uh, I think we've answered most of the questions. Um, I haven't I, seen anything else. I saw one pop by um, Lorraine that asked whether uh, ingredients have an expiry date. And I thought that was an interesting question because they definitely do. So it should say on the bottle of your product when it will expire. And, you know, somebody asked about the preservative very specifically. Um, don't use it beyond that expiry date. Basically, it should have that on the bottle for you. Yeah. Absolutely. OK, I think we've answered the majority of the questions. I don't want to keep you for too much longer because you're going to get ready for the masterclass, which starts on October 3rd. Now, I want you to leave me a yes in the comments if you have logged into your study area and completed all of the tasks on your checklist. Bit of homework for you if you haven't done it yet. So when you log into your study area, which you get to straight away when you reserve your ticket, when you sign up for your ticket, and the study area is also linked to in your email that you receive after you sign up for the masterclass, go there and there's a checklist and go through the checklist and do all of the things that you need to do. And I know some of you might be thinking, I'm gonna cut this one short. I'm not gonna watch that video. Go and watch that video. You're gonna get so much out of it. You'll understand exactly what's gonna happen in the masterclass. And I can see the yeses flooding in, which is absolutely amazing. 
that means you're an action taker. That means you are ready for this masterclass and you are going to get the most out of this. We are on a mission to teach the world to formulate. You're going to be learning how to make your own botanical eye cream. And the people who are putting all the yes in the comments now, I can't wait to see your eye creams very, very soon. So I guess let's finish it off by saying, make sure you print out your workbook and take a selfie of yourself with your workbook and come and put it in our group. So we've got a Facebook group for the masterclass, 75,000 people in there. Come and join us, put up your masterclass workbook selfie and show us loud and proud that you're going to be taking part and that you are an action taker. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Anna, for joining me today and for showing us all of those ingredients. They're amazing. Thank you, Lorraine. I'm very, very excited for people to get their ingredients and to get started with the masterclass. Me too. So we'll be seeing you again next week, Wednesday at 4 p.m. UK time. That's 11 a.m. Eastern time when we'll be looking at three tools that you need in order to formulate with. However, we're going to be running through all of that in a lot more detail once you actually start your masterclass. So I'll be seeing you there. And in the meantime, come take part in everything we're doing on social media. Come show us how excited you're about the masterclass and uh, make sure you log into your study area and get started straight away and sign up for absolutely everything we offer with the masterclass because you're going to benefit so much. Thank you so much, everyone. We'll be seeing you again mm -hmm. next week. Take care. Bye.